Hey, what's up everyone? It is Ronco Pop, and I am back here with another video. Today we're going to be looking into how to make expressions when drawing your faces. Um, expressions really help characters come alive, and it's actually not that hard. I know the, the face, you know, eyes, ears, nose, eyebrows, wrinkles, everything. There's a lot of different uh, components to uh, drawing a face sometimes, but it can be broken down, in my opinion, uh, pretty simply. And this is the way I go about it. The main two, maybe three uh, components of really getting good expressions out of a face. Um, eyebrows for one, the mouth second, and then tied for third is kind of like eyelids and like maybe a few wrinkles or a few creases. Uh, we'll get into that part too. But first, let's just get into eyebrows first. Eyebrows, I think, are maybe the most important thing when um, making an expression on your character. So, so I got a grid here that's a comic book panel is broken down into grids and I'm not going to make it super complicated. All I'm going to do is draw I two dots for eyes. I'll just do four first in this first in this first panel here. And so basically you can embellish this if you want and you wanted to draw you know much more detailed. As you've seen in my previous videos, I have a very much more animated cartoony style. But let's just take a look at these four uh, sets of eyes here, right here. And so first one, like I said, we're doing eyebrows. Let me make my pen a little bit bigger here. And uh, we're doing eyebrows. So all we are doing is putting lines, basically. I know eyebrows can have a very, you know, flowing, f flowing form to them. Um, and, and they can get really detailed. We're not going to do any of that. What we're doing, going to do is put lines. And all you have to do, so if you wanted to make a uh, angry expression, so you got creases there, and these would be kind of like eyebrows. And if obviously, again, put some feathers in there or something like that. Get bushy eyebrows, really thin eyebrows, anything like that. But all you're doing is putting those lines for the creases of the eyebrows. And then you have a character looking straight ahead in an angry face. What if you wanted a worried expression? Again, adjust those eyebrows to the outside. And uh-oh, we got a worried expression there. Put a little curve to it, because it can be straight if you wanted to just do straight. And that you'd still get the same emphasis. But you can add a little curve to it. Gives a little bit of more flavor, a little bit more character to it. And really what I'm doing when I'm looking and trying to get these expressions, you can look at yourself in the mirror and see the way kind of your eyebrow shapes. You can look online on Amazon, any bookstores or something, look for facial. There's a lot of facial expression books out there. Cartoonists have made books in the past um, that have different illustrations of different facial expressions. But this is just super simple way of figuring out different facial expressions to do that um, that's you don't have to go into it very detailed and very complicated. Okay, for the third one, what if we wanted someone who's kind of maybe a little bit shocked? Then we just lift those eyebrows up high and put a curve to them. So they're kind of like a high eyebrows going, huh? What? And then another one, maybe this guy's a little uh, indifferent. So instead of putting a curve down to make him angry or out to the side to make him a little shocked or, or scared, straight across. Just, just straight across. Gives him a very indifferent feel to it. And yeah, so you got those sets. Let's do four more right on this side here. Again, all we're doing is dots for eyes. If you wanted to make this a little bit more detailed, you can draw your eyes. Obviously, you could draw your eyes regular, have your eye in the middle, and it'd still be the same concept. Eyebrows going down, and you have an angry look. But we're not doing that. So, put them our two dots here. And now, so again, we got these expressions over here. On this side, let's say we got someone who's maybe, you know, a little suspicious. So what you do, you'd put an eyebrow. Usually you'd see someone who looks a little suspicious. Maybe they raise a single eyebrow at you. So you'd have one eyebrow here and then another one. And what I did here is just add a little crease, kind of gives it an indentation on the forehead, but it still has that eyebrow going up. If you didn't have that, you can kind of get the same Look, but the indentation for the forehead kind of helps. Then, for the next one, let's go with 
maybe more of a neutral look. So this kind of looks the same as the neutral look over here, but this is more indifferent, like I don't care what you're doing. This is more indifferent as in like, okay, it's just another day. Now this one is a little bit tricky and you see this in kind of uh, the Peanuts by Charles Schultz, the master cartoonist there. Instead of doing eyebrows or eyelids, um, he kind of puts these little wrinkles off on the side. And what that does is really gives your character kind of a worried look. Without the, uh, You could put the eyebrow up here and you'd still have that. But if you take those away and you just kind of make a little wrinkles on the side, almost a worried expression takes over there. And then going back to this one, this guy is a little indifferent, but you know, he doesn't really have much emotion going there. If you did the same thing, but put the brow lower across the eyes, it gives him a much more determined, focused look because it's almost like the brows are closing part of the eyes. So what you could do is just put it straight down against the eyes like that. And if you connect that brow, it even makes it even more dramatic. And there we go. Easy ways of doing expressions for the eyes. So the other second way that I really like to get expressions out of my characters and, inclu and including doing the eyebrows is making sure you use the mouth. Why would you use the mouth? Well, let's just take some of these examples for here for a minute. So we, let's take the angry example for a second here. I'm going to do two angries. But you can see by adding a mouth to it, you're going to get a very much uh, a very different expression from this character. For this first one, this guy is mad, so he's yelling. But if you flip that upside down, now he's kind of sneaky. Maybe he's upset, but he's happy about it, and he's going to get somebody back. This one, he's mad, and he's yelling, and he's angry. So the mouth can convey a lot of emotion, even with you when you have the same expression on the eyebrows. That is take this expression here, the very neutral expression of just regular or eyebrows. Same thing again. But now, if we put a little smirk with the mouth here, hmm, that's a very nice expression there going. Nice happy day. Maybe he has a little plan later on. Or one simple line. He's like, uh oh, did I forget I left the oven on? So very simple lines as the mouth. It doesn't have to be open and smiling or open and frowning or screaming. Just simple lines across and you can get some more expression out of your characters that way. Let's take this kind of worried, surprised expression there. So in this one, you have the worried kind of surprised expression. And now if you put a little big happy face. Maybe he's just having a really good day there. These are little indentations for his cheeks. But if you make kind of like a, a wiggly line, Charles Schultz again, master at doing something like this with his characters like Linus. Now he's just like, uh oh, he's very nervous. Maybe he has an upset stomach. Maybe he has a test coming up in school. He's going in for a review at work. You never know. And uh, that the line, see, taking away that one there. But when you have the lines there, it adds more expression to the character's face. Last expression here. Um, and again, you could do these uh, mouth expressions with any of these eyes, but we'll look at this one right here with a hard scowl across the brow. So again, very determined, very, maybe he's annoyed and he could really pull, it off, pull off an annoyed look by putting a little frown just off to the side, just like, he is like Oscar the Grouch, do not talk to me, I've had a bad day, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. But on this side, if you put a little smile, Again, maybe he just kind of has one of those grumpy faces, but he's smiling and he's like, hey, I'm not such a bad guy. <laughs> so yeah, easy ways of getting good expressions out of your characters. Two simple ways. The easiest, I think, are using eyebrows and using the mouth. Lastly, there are, you can use little wrinkles around the mouth, around the eyes, and um, using the eyelids. So what we'll do down here. Let us take uh, let us take this no normal expression here again. 
So what you will do, say we had this here. And we have the line going across. So you have that line. Then you have this little expression like, yeah, I don't want to talk to anyone today. But if you use that same line, if you use the same concept as eyelids, those are your eyes. Maybe you put a line across as as more stylized way of doing this. And then you add eyebrows to it. So the eyelids with the eyebrows adds another component to the character's expression. At first he's maybe like, I don't want to talk to you. The second expression with the eyebrows and the eyelids together, that kind of gives an expression of like, I don't want to talk to you, but maybe you have something interesting to say. So eyelids can be used very good and very appropriately to get more expression out of your character. And then when you combine it all together, we'll do three expressions using all the different methods we've seen here already. And I'm going to use the regular eyes like this with eyelids on them so you can see what I'm talking about. And again, we are just doing simple cartoony style but if you wanted to you could do your own style if it's more in depth more detailed like so here we go we got in different eyes and this is combining eyelids eyebrows and mouth all together so if you have hmm maybe he's interested and then you just add a little open circle for the mouth like oh interesting but same expression with the mouth here adding eyebrows down now he's like don't talk to me get out of my face and then lastly same expression with the mouth same expression with the eyes and the eyelids but if you change the eyebrows like one of our first expressions there outside and now it's like oh he's tired He's worried. He doesn't want to deal with the rest of this day. He just wants to go home and go to sleep. So there we have it. A bunch of different ways that you can use to get expressions out of your characters. Very simple, very easy. And I just want to show one thing before I go real quick. This is a magazine I picked up at the store not that long ago. I mentioned him here in the video a couple times. Charles Schultz, one of the masters of cartooning, the creator of the Peanuts. This is from uh, Life magazine that I paid way too much money for. But if I see anything with Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and the Peanuts, and with Charles, Charles Schultz interviews or anything like that, I almost always pick it up. And what I've done here is earmark a couple things to show you what I'm talking about. His style is so simple, so deceptively simple, but you can see what I mean when you look at this Snoopy character here. This Snoopy character, simple eyes, little wrinkles with the determination, and he has a little squiggly for a line showing like he's not really mad, he's determined. He's going to get to outer space, or at least into the clouds. And this next one here, so we got Charlie Brown. Good old Charlie Brown. And what do we see here? We see a simple eye and a simple mouth. No eyebrow, maybe a little bit right there. But he's, he looks kind of happy and go lucky. And just a small little detail, he has his tongue sticking out. Kind of like Charlie Brown is focused and ready to make this pitch. So again, you don't need a lot of detail. And you can see the determination on his face. But it's not a, a frustrated or hard determination. It's more of a happy-go-lucky, happy, he's happy to be in the game and he wants to do his best type of, of, of concentration. Next up we have Lucy. Of course we have Lucy. Simple lines, simple expressions. If you took away the line across her forehead, she'd kind of be looking out in space, almost like a worried look. But with the brows across her forehead, now she has a more determined look, almost like stop bothering me lioness. And with a simple line for the mouth unopened, she's really thinking she wants her little brother to get away from her. <laughs> All right, and lastly, we have Snoopy yet again. Well, let's look at Woodstock real quick here. Woodstock, no mouth, no eyebrows, just kind of staring off into space. Very simple, and you can kind of see the story already. It's Woodstock's just maybe uh, contemplating the his life choices who knows 
But then we got Snoopy over here. And this is a great showing uh, from Schultz and the determination that we see here. Let's see if I can get a better angle on the camera here. So we got him up here, just very stoic. This is like a just regular uh, statuesque picture of him before this before these strip starts phasing off. No real expression, just kind of indifferent. But then we got a new expression here. Slight frown, slight brow at the top. So we got the mouth and the eyebrows. Mouth kind of worried there with the eyebrows shooting up. So you see that worried expression. Two eyes really worried with a squiggly frown and the one brow right across. So instead of two brows, he's connected the brows and put them in an arch so you can really see Snoopy worried and concentrated there. And then he gets bumped off the bird, bird bath, bird pond, whatever the fountain thing that is they are playing hockey on. And it's not, he's not scared. He's just like, oops. And he's kind of has his brows up. They're split again, so they're separate instead of the one, like right there. And he's just like, all right, here we go. Cheap shot. And then the strip continues with, with Snoopy looking off the side. So I just wanted to share that and share, uh, you know, the Master Charles Schultz at work there. And uh, yeah, drawing faces can be difficult, can be time consuming, but it doesn't have to be as hard as you might make it because simple things like making sure you have the eyebrows pointed down, pointed up with a mouth in there, conveying a little bit more emotion like we did here in the happy face and the worried face, same brows, but the, the mouth kind of tells the emotion there and the expression there. And like I said, there are different books out there um, to to check out, different sources online. If you wanted to find a book of facial expressions, I'm sure there are a lot out there. There is one, I think his car his name was Jack Ham. He was an old school cartoonist and he had this book of uh, body figures and illustra uh, illustrations, um, expressions, I think. It's really old, it's probably out of print, um, but I remember having it and I think I got like a I, I tried to buy it again and off of Amazon. It was like a bootleg copy. But if you can find it, I think his name was Jack Ham. And it has it's just filled with a ton of different expressions that you can use and reference for your own drawings. And like I said, if you can't afford any of that, look in the mirror. It's going to be silly, but look in the mirror. Make funny faces. Make angry, sad, shocked, annoyed faces. Just look at the way your brows are shaped and your, your mouth is shaped. And then you will get more of a feeling. And you can use that. Uh, that facial expression you're making in the mirror as reference for your drawings. Okay, I guess that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my uh, subscriber count up on this channel. And let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any other questions or if there are any other subjects you want me to cover. I'm going to be covering some other topics of how to draw characters and how to draw different things for comic books. Again, hit that like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.